After a tumultuous weekend in Monaco, where team principal Bruno Famine publicly warned Esteban Ocon of potential consequences, it was shockingly announced just a week later that Alpine and Ocon will part ways after the 2024 season. This move, likely expedited by the Monaco incident, thrusts Alpine F1 into the spotlight once again. Known for his resilience, Esteban Ocon narrowly avoided a suspension that could have dramatically altered his career. With the official announcement of Ocon's departure, whispers about Mick Schumacher's potential move to Alpine are growing louder, sparking a heated debate among fans and pundits. Let's dive into these unfolding events and what they mean for Alpine and its drivers. Esteban Ocon, a driver who has shown flashes of brilliance amidst a rocky Alpine campaign, was teetering on the brink of suspension. Internal team conflicts and performance issues, particularly his reckless move on teammate Gasly at the Monaco GP, nearly led to a dramatic sidelining. Bruno Famine seriously considered suspending Ocon, but legal fears overruled him. The team dreaded a costly lawsuit that could have drained resources and further tarnished their already fragile reputation. This incident highlights the fragile dynamics within F1 teams, where legal and financial implications often overshadow sporting decisions. The potential suspension was a dramatic twist in a season already marred with challenges for Alpine. Ocon's presence on the grid is not just about performance, it involves contractual obligations and sponsorship commitments. Suspending him could have led to ripple effects, impacting the team's commercial relationships and standing within the paddock. The incident underscores the precarious balance teams must maintain between enforcing discipline and avoiding legal pitfalls. Yet, Famine's blunt comments about Ocon's departure, We wish Esteban the very best for the next chapter of his driving career when that moment comes, hint at unresolved tensions. Will this partnership end amicably, or are we witnessing the prelude to a bitter split? As Ocon's saga unfolds, another storm brews at Alpine the potential recruitment of Mick Schumacher. The son of legendary Michael Schumacher, Mick has been linked with a seat at Alpine, but not without controversy. Former Haas team principal Gunther Steiner has issued a stark warning to Alpine against signing Schumacher, reflecting a broader scepticism within the paddock. Despite his famous surname, Mick's inconsistent performances and criticisms during his tenure at Haas raise serious doubts about his readiness for a more competitive environment. Steiner's warning is not without merit. Alpine must carefully consider the gamble of signing a driver who, despite his iconic lineage, has yet to prove himself in F1. Bringing Schumacher on board is not just a risk on his driving skills, but also on his capacity to handle immense pressure and expectations. Is Alpine seeking a quick fix or a long-term solution? The decision could redefine Alpine's trajectory, potentially revitalising their campaign or compounding their woes. While Schumacher remains a contentious option, Alpine has other drivers on their radar. Jack Doohan is in a prime position for the Alpine seat. The 21-year-old has impressed as the team's reserve driver, despite a junior career marred by inconsistency. His blistering one-lap pace in F2 and unlucky title charge showcased his potential, but is he ready for the big leagues? Valtteri Bottas, currently with Sauber, emerges as another option. While he hopes to stay with the soon-to-be-renamed Audi F1 team, rumours suggest the German mark has its sights set on Carlos Sainz. Bottas, considered by Williams as well, could bring the technical ability and dependability Alpine desperately needs. However, is Bottas merely a stopgap measure or a viable long-term solution? Then there's Zhou Guan Yu, whose commercial appeal makes him a tempting option for Alpine. Widely believed to be in his last season with Sauber, Joe has been outclassed by his teammate but maintains a good relationship with Alpine, his former academy. Is Alpine willing to sacrifice performance for marketability? Liam Lawson, the Red Bull reserve driver, is another wild card. With Red Bull extending Sergio Perez's contract and likely retaining Yuki Tsunoda and Daniel Ricciardo, Lawson's options seem limited. His standout performance at last year's Singapore Grand Prix could make him an appealing choice for Alpine, but is he ready to lead a team in turmoil? Alpine F1 finds itself at a crossroads. The narrow avoidance of Ocon's suspension and the potential addition of Schumacher to their roster are decisions that could significantly impact the team's future. As they navigate these turbulent waters, Alpine must strategize carefully to ensure they emerge stronger and more united. The stakes are incredibly high, 
and every decision will be scrutinised by fans, pundits and competitors alike. The Ocon incident serves as a cautionary tale about the consequences of internal discord, while the Schumacher situation presents an opportunity for calculated risk-taking. For fans and analysts alike, these developments at Alpine provide a fascinating glimpse into the high-stakes world of Formula One team management. In the end, the drama off the track is proving to be as compelling as the action on it. Will Alpine rise from the ashes, or crumble under the weight of its controversies? Stay tuned to Racing Avenue for the latest updates and in-depth analysis on this evolving saga.